Tommy. Yeah. Who are you? What character do you play? And how are they integrated into the show? Well, uh, I, uh, my name's Ralph Foley and I play uh, Dr. Ravi Chakrabarty. <laughs> and he's the uh, medical uh, examiner pathologist at the Seattle Police Department. And um, Olivia Moore is his, well, she works for him. And uh, he's unique in the show is that he's the only one who knows her secret. He does. I mean, when uh, when we were doing that scene, uh, Rob had said that he felt he already knew. And everything he was doing was being orchestrated so that he could catch her doing it. He knew uh, that his bodies were missing brains when he was going back. He knew that there was a paper trail that if he could follow it. Um, and it all led up to that moment where he, where he catches her in the act. Does he really buy into it right away? I mean, zombies is a huge stretch for those of us living in the real world. Exactly. Well, I mean, uh, the thing about the Doctor is, is he's he's a very enthusiastic person and, and has this love for, for myths, um, you know, the Yeti, the Loch Ness Monster, that sort of thing. So when he kind of catches on to this idea that something supernatural can exist in this medical world, um, it's, it's an amazing find. So he kind of bypasses that shock and is just in awe of, of, of this specimen, so to speak. Um, but she is more than that. She is a friend. She is someone he cares about deeply, but at the same time, just is fascinated by. Him. So how do they get into the kind of the procedural aspect of the case by week? How do they become crime fighters, so to speak? Oh well, um, their job anyway uh, was to perform uh, examinations on, on people in under suspicious circumstances. So in Seattle, you are required an autopsy if you're in prison or you died within a week of being in the hospital or. So anything that could involve foul play or suspects, they would be the ones to investigate. Um, and it's through circumstance and coincidence that the brain that she um, consumes sets her on to finding out what actually happened to the body. Um, and they're able to piece together things that the police weren't, and then they're able to work in unison. So that's how it kind of comes about. So that's kind of the part of their job description. They don't just determine cause of death, they actually investigate things. They, they, they sort of, yeah. I mean, it's a, me, a medical a pathologist's role. I mean, they would collect evidence from bodies and they have to look at a situation and find those things that help the police run their investigation. The only difference is that they're able to give through live clear um, clues from the flashbacks that she inherits and, and they find a way of pretending that she's psychic in order to get the police to follow her leads. So it seems like the tone's a little bit comedic. Yes, it is. What's the balance between the drama and the comedy? Um, it's. I think it's. It's. That's a good question. It's. It's the whole show is very tongue in cheek and it does have a, a, a good sense of humour and, and that is in its comic book roots. It's the same as as, as uh, Chris Robertson's work. And, um, we. You're still. It's. It's not slapstick. It has its quips. I mean, it, it, a lot of people who've seen it compare it to Monica Mars in the sense that while it's still able to do the drama, it still has a, a nice and easier tone to it, which helps digest little things like how you're actually eating brains in the zombie apocalypse. And when we do have action, because it's treated with, with, with a slight heart like heartiness, it's, able, it's easier to digest, so to speak. So. That's what I was going to ask. It comes directly, there's a comic with it. Like, a zombie was a comic book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's not like Arrow or Flash where you can take from the mythology, you're coming off a comic. So how much does, does it actually work with the comic book itself? Well, it's, it's kind of like, an, um, I guess, what's a good comparison? I had one, actually. It was another comic book movie that, it's like, uh, Old Boy's a good example. If you look at the Old Boy comic and the Old Boy film, you know, yeah. it's, 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 it's more, it's DNA. And that's the same with iZombie in the sense that they, they, they both share strong female characters. They have a diverse um, cast in both the comic book and, and the uh, TV shows, and we're all from different backgrounds, races, etc., etc. Um, and, and that DNA from, from Chris Robertson and Mike Allard's work into uh, uh, Rob Thomas's work, that's where it shares the similarity. There are myth- more sort of supernatural characters in the comic book, but as I'm aware, that hasn't been planned yet. So we'll see what happens. But, um, at the moment, we're just dealing with the zombie apocalypse than the other characters. Feels like the character Jules, you're into a certain natural class, 
Derby. Yeah, I mean, well, my favourite, one of my favourite TV shows is The X Files, and I and I kind of cheated by um, I made it my character's favourite TV show as well. So I've literally watched like I think I'm on like season eight now of like, The X Files. Um, I've always been interested by like in, in Britain we got the Loch Ness monster, and you know we had and also things like Jack the Ripper, the Unsolved Mysteries. They always sort of I, they, I've always sort of gravitated towards that. So it was very easy approaching the character.